Today I got to marry my best friend, my childhood sweetheart, my one and only, and I couldn't be happier. Now, Isla, how old are you? Ten. Ten. <laughs> well, me and Mummy were only one year older than that when we first met. Over the next five years, she was like a magnet to me. <laughs> We'd meet in random places, probably at some horrible house parties. Uh, but it was when we left school that things got a little bit more serious. Now, I can't remember the exact sequence of events that led to us reconciling, but it was about the time that my photo appeared in the newspaper <laughs> so, saying I was going to be a professional footballer. <laughs> it wasn't long before Emily slipped into my DMs, or, or MSN Messenger as it was back then, if anyone remembers that. Um, anyway, a lot of midweek rendezvous, terrible films, a lot of running around from my parents, um, we never looked back. Things got a little crazy just over 10 years ago when we had to grow up fairly quickly and our lives became complete three years later with Isla and Freya. <laughs> Emily, I'm sorry for making you wait this long, but it's been made so special having these two be here with us today. To have you part of this day, to help plan it, to have your say. Um, it's been incredible. get going, can I just get myself in order a little bit, as, as I've had a, a number of additions to this speech, because we've been running a book for the past few years, will it be this Boxing Day they get engaged? <laughs> so I'd write a speech in preparation, no, wrong again, so yes, here we go. I found the latest iteration, and that's the last big word I'm gonna, gonna use. As a father of daughters, and more so a father of three daughters, but also of the only male in the household, he learned to live with girly, female-type talk. But during the build-up of this, this wedding, I learned a new word, and that word is spanks. And if you know what they are, you'll be pleased to learn that I'm not wearing any today. <laughs> I found that there, in writing the, this speech that there's lots of guidance out there about what a father of the bride's speech should contain. And it often suggests I offer a bit of advice for the future. So listen very, very carefully. Now let me, let me try. Marriage is about, about patience and communication. Take good care of each other. Make sure 
you each feel loved and make sacrifices when necessary. Always listen to each other with open ears. Have fun and laugh about things. It's all waiting for you It's all waiting for you Nervous, nervous Oh. <laughs> Look at you, a young lady. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to ask you, please, to be upstanding to welcome our bridal party. It's all waiting for you. It's just the beginning. It's just the beginning. Well, it was worth the wait. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. <laughs> well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Lawn Sales Barton, a beautiful setting and a location to witness the vows of love and commitment given between this wonderful couple. Through their vows, they will be joining their lives together. In their marriage, they will trust each other and share their thoughts and dreams. And this wedding celebration today is an honoured validation of the love, admiration, affection and the deep and abiding friendship that they have for each other. The vows you make today recognise not only the truth of the love you have nurtured over your years together, but the truth of the love you are holding now and you will both grow into in your inspired and beautiful future together. Now you're one step ahead of me because I was going to ask you to take each other's Sorry. hands and look at each other. <laughs> so please do again. <laughs> because I'm now going to ask you to say your vows to one another by repeating after me. And Ollie, you're going to be first. So if you could repeat after me. I, Ollie, take you, Emily, to be my wife. I, Ollie, take you, Emily, to be my wife. I promise to share my life with you. I promise to share my life with you. To be your true friend. To be your true friend. To support you in all that you do. To support you in all that you do. I promise to encourage your dreams. I promise to encourage your dreams. And comfort your disappointments. And comfort your disappointments. I promise to share in your joy. I promise to share in your joy. And to comfort your sorrow. And to comfort your sorrow. To share your adventures. To share your adventures. And celebrate your achievements. And celebrate your achievements. To grow with you in love. To grow with you in love. And to cherish and respect you. To cherish and respect you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. To keep sight of the true values in life. To keep sight of all the true values of your life. <laughs> and, to be, <laughs> and to be with you at your side always. And to be at your side always. <laughs> Just about. <laughs> So ladies and gentlemen, I have great pleasure in publicly announcing to you all that Ollie and Emily, you are now husband and wife, and Ollie, you may now kiss your bride. <laughs>
Great honour and privilege to um, finally announce you to Mr. and Mrs. Chenoweth. Actually, to bless mummy and daddy on this very special day. Thank you for being the best mum and dad in the world. I am happy to share this day with you both, and you both look amazing. I will help you them on their journey and love them with all my heart. Good girl. I'm not going to bore you with too many typical wedding speech cliches, um, but I will start with one, which is on behalf of my wife and I. Um, thank you very much for joining us today. Um, it's, it's fair to say that every one of you have played a fairly major part in our lives. Um, some of you travelled a long way to be here as well. Um, so thank you so much for helping us celebrate our special day. This wedding didn't organise itself. Um, it's, it's almost like she's been planning this year for several years. I knew I'd be an emotional wreck today, but nothing could have prepared me for seeing you walk down that aisle earlier. You simply took my breath away. You make me laugh every day, you pick me up when I'm down, and you put me in my place when I'm wrong. I'll love you every day for it. We've had an amazing journey so far. We've created so many memories and I can't wait to enjoy this next stage and create so many more. For me, the prettiest girl in school grew to be the most beautiful woman in the world. To Emily, my wife. <laughs> The relationship I have with Ollie is very brotherly. We manage to love each other and hate each other at the same time, which funnily enough is what you said. <laughs> this becomes very evident when we do anything competitive together. A great example of this is both our proposals. Coincidentally, Ollie and I both proposed to our partners on the same day. But I managed to win the race by getting in there about an hour before he Ollie did, 1-0 Matt which soon became 1-1 when Ollie and Emily decided to get married within seven months of his proposal. <laughs> Organising a wedding is probably one of the most stressful things you can do, especially when doing it in such a short time. But I think we can all agree, Emily and Ollie have done a great job and the day so far has been perfect. I would, however, like to apologise to both of you to adding to your stresses by calling Ollie with six days until the wedding informing him I'd broken my ankle. I told him I'd be getting legless tonight, but I don't think he thought I would take my promise so literally. 
I'd just like to finish by saying that Ollie, you are like a brother to me. And I can't explain how happy I am to be part of your special day. Please be all upstanding to the Mr. and Mrs. Chenoweth. Mr. and Mrs. Chenoweth. Oh, I wish it could be this simple forever.